Gigi Berardi reading Food Wise tonight. It is our shared world of food and farming. How do we get to Food Wise? And this section is entitled We Need Small Scale Integrated Farms. A prominent exemplar of how to manage such rotational grazing systems is agrarian evangelist Joel Salatin. Salatin is a fervent believer in small-scale farming with pastured animals and rotational grazing. He works a crowd beautifully to convert the audience, manage the grazing, watch the animals, optimize root growth of plants, produce the best possible grass. The only limitations are the farmer's cleverness and time. The level of intensive management practiced by Myers and Waring, who we talked about yesterday, and by Salatin, gives them a close connection to the food they produce. Such connection would be inconceivable on a mega scale farm managed for maximum financial efficiency. Integrated farms should be relatively small scale to be food wise. Small-scale intensive farming invariably takes a lot of effort and attention and often carries big financial risks. Take the Honkook Raspberry Operation in Whatcom County, Washington, where I live. Raspberries are big here. The county produced over 72 million pounds of red raspberries in 2018. This amounts to about 90% of the nation's total production of red raspberries destined for the processing market, for freezing and for juice, jam, and other foods. According to Raspberry Farmer and member of the Board of Directors of the Washington Red Raspberry Commission, Randy Honkoop. The fertile temperate landscape also supports numerous insects of different kinds that can destroy the growing canes or the fruit itself. Raspberry cane borer beetles with yellow markings, a metallic blue, black, red necked cane borer, white maggots, the expanding threat of the invasive spotted wing Drosophila, and many others. Most large raspberry farms spray pesticides monthly including chemicals for weed and disease control. Raspberry farmer Randy Honkoop understands the pesticides devastate any flora or fauna that's not, well, a raspberry. Instead, Honkoop uses a version of integrated pest management to control pests on his relatively small farm of about 60 acres, which amounts to less than 1% of total Whatcom County red raspberry acreage. Still, it's a lot of investment for him to protect. We'll hear about integrated pest management or IPM tomorrow. But even with 60 acres, that is a lot of investment. And so being willing to practice integrated pest management, basically techniques that monitor the extent of pest damage and establishes rather high thresholds, relatively speaking, for acting on the pest management. That's very bold in terms of sustainability. Uh, the article tonight talks about more bold decisions, but in the arena of colleges and universities. So Catherine Long, has produced this first article in a two-part series uh, looking at finances and uh, the fiscal health of colleges and universities, which are now anticipating relatively large budget cuts. We are looking at at least 15% in my university, Western Washington University and all colleges and universities are being affected with a downturn in income, in revenues, and how we're going to recoup that. 